again. Wow, they appear to be a family of big, burly men. Those are the movers. <laughs> Luke, Lori, you can't just sit there and spy on people. You have to scooch over and make room for all of us. <laughs> so, what are they like? Well, judging by the size of their SUV, I'd say they're pretty obnoxious. That's a moving truck. <laughs> Lane, Operation Fresh Meat is a go. What are we looking at? Newlyweds? A nice couple with young kids? Grumpy retirees who tell me to get off their lawn every time I peer in their front window just to see what they're up to? You know, like our old neighbors. I wonder why they moved. Look, there they are! <clears throat> young couple, athletic, roughly our age from the looks of it. What is that weird <laughs> thing they're doing with their arms? They're waving at us. <laughs> what do we do? We should wave back. No! Too much time has passed. It will be weird. Quick, pretend we're asleep. It's not working. They're going over. Everyone hide. I'll pretend to be the non-English speaking housekeeper. Or we could take the opportunity to make friends with our new neighbors. My idea has a better chance of working. <laughs> Hi there. Couldn't help but notice you all in the window. Hope we didn't disturb your nap. Not at all. We're your new neighbors. I'm Bill Dewhurst, and this is my wife, Barb. Nice to meet you. We're the Stanleys. Oh, we know. We've heard so much about you already. Your previous neighbors filled us in before they left. All good things, I hope. <laughs> There's some good things, I hope. We should be going. Lots of unpacking to do. Yeah. I know. Shut the door. Oh, I never thought I'd say this, but I miss the grumpy retirees. <laughs> hey, we have the basketball court booked. What's going on here? Must be the bicycle rodeo. Look at him playing that wild BMX. Yeah! Oh, Pam, the court has been double booked. Why are you bothering me with this? Take it up with the athletic director. Great. Where do I find him? Beats me. He quit yesterday. <laughs> what? If you have a problem, fill out a comment card and leave it in the suggestion box. Fine. Where's the suggestion box? We don't have one. <laughs> if you think we need one, fill out a comment card and leave it in the suggestion box. Where are you going? To fill out a comment card. I think a suggestion box is a great idea. <laughs> no. We came here to play basketball. I'm not about to let some show off eat up all of our court time with a bunch of lame BMX tricks. Hey, dude, we need to talk. About what? You're not a dude. Really? Don't tell my parents. They're gonna freak out. Well, I just wanted to say how much I like your cool bike tricks. Cool bike tricks? I thought you said she was a lame show-off. No, I didn't. He must have misheard. Pretty sure I didn't. Let me check my notes. Yep, lame and show-off. Right there, see? Sorry to keep you waiting, honey. Someone fell asleep in the middle of my art history lecture and it took forever to wake them up. And was that someone you? Yes. But, in my defense, I was giving a really boring lecture. Where's Lori? She's waiting in the car. We better get going. It's the Dewhursts! Come on, let's go say hi. I don't know. It's so much less work getting to know someone by peering in their windows. Hey there, neighbors. So you've discovered the Brock? Oh, this place is fantastic. There are so many great activities for couples. We just hit the squash court, and now we are taking a ballroom dance class. One, two, cha-cha-cha. Out, in, and a squeeze. Oh, I love that you find so much time for each other. Mm -mm. Lane and I are also super close. In fact, we're always finishing each other's Seashells. Suitcases. I know, it's sushi. Sushi, right? 
I don't like this game. I'm sure there's room on the dance floor for another couple if you care to cut a rug with us. I can't think of a reason why not, sweetie. Well, believe me, I am trying to come up with something. So were you just going to leave me sitting in the car all day? Lori, I'm so sorry. We got distracted. But the good news is we have a great excuse to get out of ballroom dancing. I mean, bad news. Can you believe that just happened? Nope, that was crazy. One minute the sun was out, the next there was light cloud cover. Make up your mind, Sky. I'm talking about the girl with the bike who stole our court time. Yep, she was shady, all right. She cast a real shadow over our day. You're talking about the cloud again, aren't you? What else would we be talking about? How about a game of Space Invaders? No way, you'll kick my butt. You've had the high score on this thing all year. It's the one thing I can always count on. Seeing my initials at the top of the leaderboard. S-U-M? I didn't know your middle name started with a U. It doesn't. Also, my first name doesn't start with an S. And I'm pretty sure my last name doesn't start with an M. Do you know what this means? Yeah. Someone must have changed your name to Sergio Ulysses Manzarian. Either that, or someone beat my high score. That would be me. Your S-U-M? It's short for summer. Cool. I'm Darnell. This is Sergio. It's Larry, actually. How did you beat my high score? It took me a year to master this game. Oh, I know that on my first try. It took you a year? That's kind of sad. We're leaving. Let's go, Darnell. Yeah, let's get out of here, Summer. She's the one we're trying to get away from. Why? Are you working for that shady cloud? Whatever it's paying you, I'll double it. Guess who I just bumped into outside? There's six billion people on the planet. I might need a hint. It was Barb. Oh. One more hint. Our new neighbor. She invited us to take a class tomorrow at the Brock with her and Bill. It's the perfect chance to make a good impression. Well, who's gonna watch Lori? Luke can do it. He's responsible. Hey, guys, Lori and I are going to install a lightning rod on the roof. We need to hurry, though. There's a major electrical storm on the way. Like I said, they can come with us. What kind of class is it anyway? Pottery. Pottery? I don't know anything about pottery. I better go ask the internet. Do you have the phone number for the internet? Maybe you should deal with this whole lightning rod thing first. You're right. They're gonna get up on that roof. They're gonna need my old metal ladder. <laughs> oh, there you are. You were supposed to meet me at my house an hour ago. Sorry, Larry. A last minute thing came up. It's actually a funny story. Hey, Darnell, I'm ready. Hang on, Summer. I'm in the middle of a funny story. You ditched me to hang out with her? Oh, so you've heard this one before. <laughs> funny, right? <laughs> I hope you don't mind that I borrowed your friend. He's teaching me to shoot free throws. Wow. You're really bad at this. I better cancel my afternoon appointment. I am your afternoon appointment. Oh, great. That saves me a call. Let me guess, you took a wrong turn on your way to prom? I'm here to apply for the part-time athletic director job. What's with the flowers and chocolates? Well, I assume it's only customary to give gifts to a prospective employer. You've never applied for a job before, have you? Nope, first time. Then you're right, gifts are customary. So I get the job? Of course not, you have no experience. If you did, you'd know that imported Belgian truffles have far more cachet than this cheap drugstore variety pack. That's where you're wrong. These are from the gas station. Why don't you come back when you have a little more life experience? Maybe get a trip to Belgium under your belt. What if I offer to work for free? You're hired. <laughs> Would you consider transferring to the Belgium office? I don't know where he could be. He promised he'd be here. Well, pottery's not for everyone. Oh, we love it. Running our hands through mud is what we live for. It's not mud, it's clay. Whatever it is, it's what we live for. Ooh, this looks fun. Whoa, not fun, not fun! Oh, 
sorry I'm late, fellow Potterites. Why are you dressed like that? Because we're taking a pottery class. Which I see now has very little to do with Harry Potter. Don't worry, it's a common mistake. There's practically a direct link between the art of handcrafting clay pots and a boy who attends a school for wizards. Listen, uh, Barb and I were planning to get in a round of golf after this. Why don't you all join us? That sounds perfect. Right, sweetie? Golf, huh? Is that similar to Quidditch? It's in the same family. Well, great. We're in. Come on, let's go select our brooms. Wait. Can you pick me up some flowers? I feel so empty inside. Hey, Lair. Since you're the new athletic director, I guess we talked to you about signing out sports equipment? That's right. Cool. Can we sign out a basketball? Sorry, they're all signed out already. But there's one right there at your feet. <laughs> nope. They're all out. This is ridiculous. I'll just go buy my own basketball. Great. Did you want to book some court time? I have an opening on oh, the 15th of November. <laughs> I can't believe I got a hole in one. A hole in one of Bill's car windows. <laughs> Two holes if you count my chip shot to get out of the car. Lane, you completely humiliated us in front of the new neighbors. Again! Me? I'm not the one who drove the cart into the water hazard. It's not my fault. You jumped out suddenly and told me to take the wheel. How was I supposed to know you were too short to reach the brake pedal? We can still make them like us. We just need another chance to show them how wonderful and loving we are. I don't know. You'll I help me show them how wonderful and loving we are, or I swear I will drop you where you stand. <laughs> well, if it isn't Bill and Barb. Look, Lane, it's our super fun new neighbors, Bill and Barb. We just popped by to get those golf clubs we loaned you. Thanks for letting me use your brand new clubs, Bill. I took care of them like they were my own. This is why I don't have nice things. <laughs> okay, well, we should go. We've got a long walk home. <laughs> oh, by the way, we're having a barbecue tonight in your honor. Oh, I'm sorry. We can't. We, we have plans. What kind of plans? And just for fun, why don't you both say them at the same time on the count of three? One, two... Okay, okay. I I guess we can make it. <laughs> Great. Uh, that'll be fun. So, Bill, I saw you have a brand new barbecue. And since my barbecue recently exploded... <laughs> Can I have a word? There's been a formal complaint made against you. Something about using your new job title to go on a mad power trip. <laughs> Normally, I would totally encourage that sort of behavior. <laughs> but the person who lodged the complaint made a very strong case. Are those chocolate truffles? Yes, they are. Belgium's finest. You let her buy you off with extravagant gifts? I thought that was our thing. <laughs> just let her use the basketball court. Never going to happen. Can't you just fire him? Sort this out between the two of you. In the meantime, I'll be in my office gorging myself into a chocolate coma. <laughs> Let's finish this once and for all. What do you propose? A contest of skill. If I win, you quit your job. Okay, but if I win, you're banned from the basketball court for life. Deal. I'll even let you choose a method of your downfall. Hey, Summer, want to work on your free throws? I choose basketball free throws. <laughs> Done. See you on the court. <gasps> this is perfect. She's terrible at making free throws. Yeah, but so are you. <laughs> That's why I gave you that nickname, Bad Shot McDribbleton. <laughs> I've never heard you call me that. No, but I'm always thinking it. <laughs> Line up your shot, aim for the back of the net, and let it fly, bad shot. Let it fly. It would do wonders for my confidence if you stopped calling me bad shot. <laughs> <gasps> yeah.
It worked. I'm actually getting the hang of this. Thanks, Darnell. It's the least I could do after ditching you to hang out with a girl. <laughs> I don't blame you. Good, because I'd do it again. Maybe even later today, if the opportunity presents itself. Thanks again for coming. And thank you for jumping in front of our car to remind us as we were about to drive away. <laughs> for a minute there, I didn't think you were going to stop. <laughs> oh. This is a great barbecue, Bill. Sorry about the dents I put in it when I brought it over from your yard. In hindsight, perhaps throwing it over the fence was not the best way to go. So, how do you folks like your steaks? Actually, Bill and I are vegetarians. <laughs> what a coincidence! So are we! <laughs> Those steaks are for our pet... Bobcat. Are the steaks almost ready? Make sure you don't overcook mine. You know I like it blue and bloody. Oh, Lori, you are such a kidder. If you're hungry, why don't you just grab a nice raw eggplant from the fridge? What? Here, go feed the bobcat. It's really for you. We don't actually have a bobcat. Thanks for the clarification. So, can I get you anything to make you more comfortable? No, I don't think you could get us anything to make us feel comfortable. Actually, I said more comfortable. I heard you. Mom, Dad, can I see you for a second? Not now, Luke. We're busy. Okay. Lori just ate her steak too fast, but I'm sure I can find an online course for the Heimlich Maneuver. <laughs> Our bobcat is also named Lori. All right, listen up, everyone. Here are the rules of the competition. The first rule is, there are no rules. Wait. Aren't you going to explain that we each get 10 shots and the one who sinks the most free throws wins? Don't question the referee. I didn't ask you to be the referee. Neither did I. Let the contest begin! <laughs> nice going, bad shot. Great. Now I have to think of a new nickname. Missed that last one, but you still score 9 out of 10. Looks like you have your work cut out for you. Enjoy your time on the court, because after today, you won't be... <laughs> well, obviously that was a fluke shot. You can't possibly... Uh... At least let me finish my sentence before you... <laughs> what is going on? I thought you were terrible at making free throws. I was faking. At my old school, I was three-time MVP. I just wanted an excuse to hang out with a cute guy. Her story checks out. <laughs> this shot's for the win. Oh, please, miss. Please, miss. <laughs> Summer wins, and Larry loses both the game and the respect of his peers. I'll expect you to turn in your clipboard and whistle by the end of the night. Joke's on you. I brought this whistle from home. Good try, bad shot. But on the plus side, I don't have to come up with a new nickname. You enjoying your salads? You mean this bowl of lawn clippings and flower petals? <laughs> it's divine. The little chunky bits are quite tasty. It's a vegetarian delicacy of mine. Oh, what's it called? Bacon. <laughs> Well, it's getting late. We should head home to purge the meat from our systems. Wait, don't leave. We just wanted to be your friends. You know, maybe we don't have to be friends. We could just be neighbors. Incidentally, how would you feel about us raising the height of the fence? I'd like that. Not too high, though, or I won't be able to return that barbecue. Let them go, honey. I just wanted them to like me. It won't happen overnight. They'll come around, just like I did. <laughs> hey, Dad. You would not believe the day I've had. I just had a run-in with quite possibly the worst person I've ever met in my entire life. There's a lot of that going around today. <laughs> Summer? 
What are you doing here? I just moved in next door. My parents said they would be here. Is that our new barbecue? <laughs> Wait, so we're neighbors? It looks that way. How would you feel about starting over? I'm sorry I got so competitive. It's just that I'm new here and I don't have any friends yet. I'm also obsessed with winning. Like, really obsessed. Summer, there you are. Quick, come with me before it's too late. I see they've met my parents. Seriously? Oh, Pam, I have the court book for this time. Well, it's not my fault our previous athletic director was forced out of his job because he lost a bet. That was me. All right. You wear your shame well. So what are we supposed to do? You'll just have to take it up with the new athletic director. Hey there, neighbor. Summer? Sorry, there was a scheduling mix-up. But I can fit you in, say, the seventh of not in your lifetime, you marry? I deserve that. You know what? That sounds perfect. Book it. No can do. I had a haircut that day. <laughs> what? With a barber this good? Got to book in advance. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,